Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Got a quick little video today uh, about a Fisher Space Pen refill. I was today years old when I realized that this will fit a Parker Jotter. This with this little plastic piece on it uh, will fit inside, well, is the same size as a Parker Jotter um, G2 refill, you know, such as the uh, Parker Quint Flow. Um, I saw a Fisher Space Pen bullet style pen um, on sale, I believe it was at Staples, at our local Staples. Um, it was like $19 on sale, normally $27. I looked on Amazon, uh, basically around $30-ish per pen. And I'm not really interested, I was not, am not really interested in the space pen, pen part, you know. But I'm more interested in the refill. It's a pressurized refill. Uh that's supposed to ride upside down, underwater, negative 30 degrees, above 250 degrees. And it's just like supposed to be the bee's knees. It's uh, made in the USA. And uh, Paul C. Fisher developed the pressurized refill for NASA in 1966. And it's still in use today on manned space flights because it performs when other pins fail. The combination of tungsten carbide ballpoint and that's a nice word, thrix, thrixostropic ink in a hermetically sealed cartridge pressurized at nearly 35 pounds per square inch allows it to ride in freezing cold, boiling heat, underwater, and at any angle, even upside down. And there's the Space Pen Inventor's signature and some guarantees. 7-Eleven, Yucca Street, Boulder City, Nevada, NV? Yeah, NV, Nevada. First, before we move over to the space pen refill, let's just see what the, how the Parker, I think it's K-W-I-N-K, Parker Quink, and this is the ballpoint ink. And this is a 1.0 medium. Let's kind of see what, how that looks on the paper. And now, this is a uh, Parker Jotter Stainless Steel XL. So this is the XL version of the Jotter. And we're going to remove that refill and we're going to open our Fisher Space Pen refill. I, to my memory, I have never written with a Space Pen refill and this is going to be a treat for me and I hope it's a treat for you as well. have to get the little plastic adapter out. And I know I've I've seen uh, YouTube videos and stuff, people talking about pen refills, pen refills. Oh, well, right, I never I never did click till today. Uh, hey, th this will work with this kind of refill. And here's some information. This is a blue medium refill, and it is not wanting to focus. Let's see if we can trick the camera into focusing. Maybe. All right, and then we take our space pen refill. The included little cap goes on the end. And now let's insert it into our Parker Jotter XL stainless steel in my case. See, it gives it that twisted 
lock thing there to catch and rotate. All right. Where's the camera? There's the camera. So here we are loaded with our Fisher Space Pen ink in blue. Uh, this is a medium. I am uncertain on the milliliter, a millimeter of it, but it's the Fisher Space Pen Medium. Um, and there is a part number SP. What does that say? SPR1. SPR1 is the part number for this particular refill in medium. And this is a pretty color. I'm practicing my cursive. <laughs> Sorry. And here's the, the difference between the Parker and the Space Pen. Space Pen's a uh, to my naked eye, I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but the Space Pen is a little bit darker blue. And in my hand, I believe it actually writes better. So here we are with the Space pen refill. And just for fun, swap back out to the Quink Flow ballpoint. Hmm. Which one writes better? That's a very, very, very good question. That's what I'm trying to determine live. Well, I really don't have a conclusion between the two. It seems maybe it's because it's something new to me and I want to like it better. But I think the fish, the Fisher Space Pen refill writes just a teeny, 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 tiny bit smoother than the standard Parker refill. Uh, I like this very much. And I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, for taking the time out of your day to check out my little uh, first hands-on time with this particular refill. Um, yeah, when I found out all my Parkers would would fit this refill, because I was today years old when I found out that that it can't that these Fisher Space Pins came with that little plastic insert to make it fit uh, I, I immediately got excited and was able to find my way um, in this case to an office depot and purchased one but uh trying to get this video to 10 minutes just a few more seconds and we'll be there because uh i have heard that 10 minutes is the magic number for the youtube algorithm and we are there at that point 
So let me just sign off and say thank you for watching. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. And you are beautiful and are handsome. Goodbye.